Okay, guys, I'm really sorry about last episode, but I didn't get to finish my sentence. Uh, my phone ran out of space. Oh, we don't have that yet. Make sure I have all our moves. Uh, we should have them all. Like hell. Good, good, good. Let's just, okay, so if you ever want to check your collectibles in this game, you can go to this area here called View Totals, and it will show them all. And later on, I'm going to stop this lap, we're not going to worry about that in this LP. That's a, uh, another thing, another thing, I don't even worry about it. Now, uh, Jiggy's musical notes are later items that aren't in this level, so you'll see that they don't even have a little bit. They don't even have a line. In later games, for some reason, they always say zero out of zero, and I never understood that, why they just do what they did in this game. But, uh, besides that fact... Mmm, oh, I'm sticky, tasty, honey energy. I actually kind of make me hungry. And basically, honeycombs are your main health items. They're kind of like chocolate or... Red bottom cocker, by the way. And, uh, whatever the freak you're playing with health in it. Antidotes! Away! Now, anyways. So we've already been up here. Uh, we've already popped the bottles. And if you remember in the last episode, he repaired the bridge. Now, by that sentence I didn't get to finish in the last episode, yes, I have a game shark, and yes, the screen's a little too bright, so I will close it real quick. There we go. Okay. And what I was saying was, uh, I do own a game shark, and I am very fond of it in this game, because I can add such matters as the infamous moon jumping, which I will explain a little in next after this. <coughs> Time for my grunty voice. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and duty old. Let me go. Okay, I'm not doing voice for her. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Glungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly bitch. Okay, it's witch, whatever. Yes, mistress, grunty. Power e san, soon be ready. Banjo, help. Okay, so I know I, too, am very fond of my Klungo voice. There he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps, we'll see who wins. Okay, what I was saying. Moon jumping, um, if you didn't know what that is, it's a very popular hack, it's done in various games. And I can I can mod this game with my Game Shark. Very cool thing because you don't actually need a computer. You just need an, a Nintendo 64 and the Game Shark cartridge. So what it does basically is you hold down a certain button and you'll jump forever. So you can go as high as you want. And really interesting about this game is the ceilings. Some of the levels don't even have ceilings. Uh, aren't solid. You can go through them. And I discovered you can go outside the level and get a little idea how the game is programmed. And I've also discovered how you can escape into any level is, um, something I'll explain later. That's something you'll see later in the game I don't want to spoil. So, this here is a Jiggy, which, the, the, it'll explain itself when I grab it. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now, go and find a picture with a piece missing. So, this is your main item through the game. It's kind of like Power Stars or Money or whatever the freak game you're playing. And... Yes, I know I'm referencing Mario 64 and Conquer a lot. I've extended those. Those are my two most recent LPs. And you know I like to, re I like to um, reference my previous LP the most because it's just the easiest one for me to reference. And it's the one I'm, you guys are most familiar with, possibly. This is the first world, Mumbo's Mountain. To open the door, you'll need to find the jigsaw piece picture with an image of this area on it. Have a look around. It can't be far away. So, this level's kind of different. So this is kind of what I consider a hub. It's a little room, it's kind of designed like the level, and this is where you enter the level in. Um, right here is a puzzle hub kind of thing. It's just like the level, but it has the puzzle. Now, uh, you go around there if you want to. Unlike any other level in this game, the puzzle hub is right next to the hub itself. Every other level, the puzzle is somewhere between 1 to 10 rooms away, so be ready for that. It really does sound quite absurd. Adventure of a bear and bird. But she just kind of mocks you. To enter the world shown in the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. 
cannot do it back. Great, to fill in this missing space without a picture, press A. You don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. So yeah, this is pretty simple patrolling. Press A, it's filled, level's open. That's it. The picture is complete, and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. That was such an easy fit. There are others who may just test your wit. And she laughs. And she mocks you throughout this entire game. I guess kind of need to fuel up to kill her at the end, or beat her up at the end, at least. Uh, you just think she's dead. And, uh, so Mumbo's Mountain. Um, just before we begin this, I want to do a little... If Rare, if you guys ever happen to watch this for some reason, or whatever, just be aware, that first Jigsaw was very cryptic. Okay, now let's just go into the level. It's, it's not that bad, but it is pretty cryptic, okay? Okay, so we spent five minutes opening up the first level trying to explain how this game works, but most people figure out themselves. There are three new moves to learn in this world. Find my molehills, and I'll explain. Okay, this game, unlike most games, and by that I mean like every other game in the world, Banjo-Kazooie series, the thing is, is you cannot use any moves until you've learned how to use them with tutorials. Um, like Donkey Kong 64, which is by the same company, uh, you can learn all your moves throughout the game, but you can use them without learning them. This game, you have to learn them. This right here is a Mumbo token. Let me explain this guy right here. Uh, this is actually a collectible item in the game, but they never actually showed that. I'm gonna try to find them all. I know where they're all at, so you guys have nothing to worry about it. About, so, uh, let's grab this first one here, and that's another one for our collection. Me, Mumbo Token, used for Mumbo Magic. So that's one of the few collectible items in this game. I don't, I don't, like, know them all by heart, like I do everything else in this game. Because this is my first time figuring out they're actually collectible. But, secret is, I will be using a guide off screen to make sure I'm ready. So right here, this is a Jinjo. Let's go over this dude. Yippee! You saved me! Gratilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world, freeing us all to get a Jiggy. So that's how you get one of the Jiggies at every level. Uh, Jinjos aren't hard to find, but finding... A, they're one of the items you'll lose if you die, so make sure you find them all. Just for a record, this dude here is a Grublin. That's the name that... I don't know if it's Rare's official name or if he came up with it. Um, but yes, they are just regular enemies, not to be mistaken with gremlins, which, uh, I'm sure you all know what that is, if you've watched the movie. I'm a note, one of a hundred on each world. Collect us, all, collect us to open the note doors. I tried to sound as musical as possible, they ended up sounding like a homosexual, I'm sorry about that, guys. So this here's another gym show. So you'll see there's, there's five colors, and unlike the rest of the Banjo-Kazooie games, the first one is always the same colors per level. So they're pretty boring. Very, uh, bland enemies. Or bland enemies, what? No. Very bland characters. So go down here and get these notes. You want to get all the notes in every level. Um, they are a collectible item as well. There are a hundred per level if you read the thingy, which therefore proves them collectible. There's a limit. And, uh, oh, we can't do that yet. That's right. Uh, so yeah, so you want to get as many of those as you can, and if you're watching this and playing the game alongside, you will manage to find them all. Now, there are some up this path right here, so we are going to collect those and smile happily as we collect them. These are here are termites, not to be mistaken with ants. They're all very mistakable enemies. Uh, the termites don't actually have names, they're just termites. And, well, one of them is called Ticker. I don't know if they're all called Ticker. Tickers, but whatever. So go up here, and let's learn this new move first. But we'll have to wait till next episode. So I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Now, if you're playing along, Nintendo 64 users, um, I don't know what you're gonna do. You're gonna lose your musical notes and your Jinjos if you stop playing right now and wait till tomorrow. So uh, if you're gonna play along with this, wait till the whole thing is up and just kind of watch it for fun while you're waiting. Um, it'll be a, about a couple, a month or two, but yes. So, in the next episode, I will learn this new move, and we will continue on and get more stuff. See you then.